Hey there, Katie Joy, the Global Butterfly, and today I want to share with you a topic around having the confidence to go for your goals. And really, what it's really about is learning to trust yourself to be able to really take the action and go for it without the fear of being disappointed that maybe it won't come true for you. That's something that's really big that keeps showing up regularly with many, 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 many of my clients, particularly in the Awaken Woman Revolution Circle, who share with me, they say, Katie, you know, I'm afraid to write them down. I'm afraid to even like just state what I really want because I'm afraid that if I say it and then it doesn't come through, I'll be disappointed again. And here's what I know that through my experience and uh, typically like we, we, well, we're all programmed anyway from zero to seven we, we're just downloading stuff we're not even um it, we're not conscious about it we're just in a subconscious state of receiving picking up all the programs from our parents society our family teachers the whole lot and what happens particularly if we're raised with a uh, not very conscious family then the offer of like promising to do something and then that not happening it, again and again and again that program gets internalized and then we end up repeating that for ourselves or we we're growing up we tend to still track that track it along or go this way track it along from the past feeling um that emotional resonance back to that same frequency when we were younger of remembering that oh but they are when i was told that this would happen I was let down again and again and again. So you just get programmed to learn to not to expect much. Now that's, it's not fun. It's not a place to be. Um, and recently I just had, I had a client who shared with me, uh, she was shocked because she knows that she's very deeply trustworthy, but so, someone actually said that they didn't trust her. And when I was working with her and going deep into the inner work, literally what came up, I could see reflecting in her energy field was that there was some real inner trust issues with herself. And therefore that was emanating on that frequency and someone else was just simply reflecting it back. And, and more than likely never even had an experience of, of having a failing trust experience with her. It was just the universe using that, that, person as a messenger as an opportunity for her to see it and I was able to help her navigate through that and the pennies dropped and it was amazing so here's the thing uh, one of the key steps that you want to do is because understanding that if you've ever been disappointed in the past but particularly parents or family caretakers people who are important to you because you're growing up and you're depending on them you're learning the life system you're learning how to how to do things and you you know you you trust them right but sometimes not everybody is, well, not everybody's awake. And so what you, what's really needed to tune into is learning to trust yourself and being that parent for yourself. So the very first step is learning to forgive not only yourself, but forgive others and really sitting in that forgiveness, meaning really, truly, genuinely having the compassion that everybody's doing the best that they can with the resources that they have at any given time. And that there's, no matter how painful a situation was or is, there's always incredible gifts in it. And I truly believe that every opportunity, every, every difficult situation is an opportunity to spiritually reconnect with the love frequency within ourselves and that we are a deep spiritual being having this well, this human experience. And all it is is about remembering to return to love. And, you know, I'm giving you a really quick snippet here to be able to tune into that. But when you release somebody with forgiveness, you're actually releasing yourself. It doesn't mean that you have to keep tolerating behaviors if they're still existing. And it doesn't mean you have to accept that what they did that was really truly that acceptable as far as like good behavior, bad behavior, that's another conversation. But it really does help to serve you releasing that energetic attachment that you still have that somehow if you just still stay angry at them, that you're going to punish them, but really only punishing yourself and keeping yourself down on a low vibration. And you keep it staying attached to the same story about not trusting and not being trustworthy or not, not being able to trust other people. And even internalizing that, maybe not even trusting yourself. So the step one is to go through forgiveness and really practice that, like radical forgiveness, really, really stepping into that and just choosing to be in a state of being of unconditional love for self and for others. Step number two, you really want to tune into this one. And this is going to take baby steps, baby steps, baby steps, but it's honoring your own agreements. 
Now, I'm going to set, tell you step three in a moment because there's a, there's a bit in the between. But it's really important that you are honouring your agreements. If you say you're going to do something, then you do it. And, if you, and especially when it's for yourself. Let's say you tell yourself you're going to go for a walk and in the afternoon and then you get all busy and you let maybe maybe a friend rings up and says oh can I come around and see you and you're like oh okay and now this is leading to step number three in a moment but you've just dishonored your own agreement and maybe it's okay if you really want to be able to do that and you go and you negotiate and maybe you go for a walk with your friend but what if you're saying yes to somebody in need when really you don't want to do it and you're seething with resentment and you're like mind channeling going, you should be able to read my mind and you know, you shouldn't ask me. That's a program, right? That's something that is not, well, it's not, it's, they're not going to pick up on it and they can ask. Everybody can ask, but you also have the opportunity to say no. So this is stepping into number three and I'm going to in, um, bring in now all three forgiveness <laughs> And also making sure you honor your own agreements and agreements with others, but also making sure you're using boundaries. So it's really important that when you are saying yes to somebody, that you're being really mindful, that you're in tune with what you're saying yes to is not saying no to yourself. And what does that mean? That means making sure that you know what your core values are, know what your vision for your life is, know what your goals are, and then selectively tuning in to all the people and possibilities and opportunities that are in alignment with that so that you are using, harnessing your energy and you're using your energy very wisely, selectively, and you're in alignment where you, it's a win-win, win situation. Like when, when someone asks for your help, you don't always have to say yes. In fact, you're not doing anyone any favors if you say yes when you really want to say no. And you'll find that as you practice these healthy boundaries more and more, again, this is something, boundaries is a, is a, a learning skill. A lot of, uh, I'm an empath too, and I didn't learn them very well when I was younger. And it was learning to, as I grew older and learning to practice to say yes to myself and without having to be rude to anyone. It's not rude to say no, that's a program because somebody in the past who was important to you, probably on the spectrum of narcissism, sociopath or psychopath, but definitely narcissism, who was programming you to do things their way so that you meet their agenda and not really caring about what you want for yourself. And so if you've internalized that and you keep growing up and you keep repeating that program, then you've become the over caretaker, codependent and the yes person to everybody else's needs, but then you feel completely depleted and burned out and maybe even angry because no one else is meeting your needs. But the thing is, we need to flip that paradigm where you are learning to trust yourself, you're meeting your own needs, you're learning to say yes to yourself. But to do that, you really need to know who, you, knowing yourself, who are you about? Like, know yourself, Socrates says. And what's your life about? What's the vision for your life? What are your goals? What excites you? What lights you up? What, what creates you to just with so much passion leaping out of bed in the morning and saying, thank you, another day to live this day? It's a really important opportunity. And, you know, to facilitate um, wonderful assistance through that, you've got not only got action to uh, ac uh, access to these uh, videos and podcasts, but you can join us in the Awakening Woman Revolution as well, which is a free Facebook group. And I have a heap of free training in there. And from time to time, I run some free challenges and webinars and opportunities. There's plenty of free um, downloads and meditations that you can access as well. And you can really take those steps to really defining your life and living your dreams, really determining what your destiny is. But by knowing who you are, awakening your heart, doing the healing work, dancing with the shadows of all parts of self so that you are uniting yourself and really becoming your own best friend, falling in love with you so that you are raising your frequency to a love vibration. And then from there, you're able to operate with a much more conscious state, creating and manifesting more of what you desire in your life. So go ahead, practice the forgiveness of self and others. Make sure that you are selectively tuning into healthy boundaries as well, that you're saying yes to yourself and, and no to others or yes to others and yes to yourself, right? So it's really important. And an example of that might be, hey, I, I want to help you, but now's not the right time, but I can do it on Tuesday or I can call you back in 10 minutes or I can help you out. Uh, another time next week or it might simply just be sorry I'm not available for that 
or you might even be resourceful if you have the resources. Say, you know, uh, I do know someone who probably could help you with that. Let me connect you. Um, or, you, you know, if you don't have that opportunity, if, then just a simple no. It's okay. People appreciate it much more than if you say yes and then let them down or sabotage it or just energetically seethe about it because it's not much fun for everybody, right? So you definitely want to be uh, practicing your boundaries, um, practicing forgiveness of self and others, and then definitely honoring your agreed agreements. Say, uh, making sure that you are taking action, being mindful what you're saying, what you're agreeing to for your own self and with other people, and then keep those agreements because through those practices of honoring your agreements, you will continue to increase that bond of connection of trusting yourself trusting that you can take action, trusting that you will continue follow through when you say that you're going to do something. And that's really the secret. It's not really about anybody else because when you're practicing those healthy boundaries, forgiveness and um, honoring your own agreements, guess what? You're able to perceive differently with other people. And so you're not going to just give your trust away to somebody who maybe doesn't deserve it. You, your discernment becomes a lot more strengthened as you practice uh, taking care of your own needs and being in tune with you and trusting your intuition and really creating the life that you love. Love light, manifesting lots of magic, and I will see you on the next call. Get it now, my free copy of my Awakening Rituals for Success, as well as a bonus Awakening Rituals meditation. Use these daily for at least 21 days, and I promise you, you are going to activate some incredible solar line success for you with more ease, more joy, more love, and a lot of abundance.